number one tells us that this product is equal to zero. Now, for this product to be zero, it means that either this term or this term is equal to zero. So it could be that 3x plus 4 is equal to zero, in which case x is negative 4 thirds. Or it could be that x plus 2 is zero, in which case x is minus 2. So it could be that x is an integer, or it could be that x is not an integer. So number one is not sufficient. All right, so when I look at the answer choices, I know that the, the right answer is not this, and it's not this. All right, so let's look at number two. Let's forget about number one for a second, pretend we haven't seen it, and focus on the information in statement number two. They tell us that x squared is an even integer. Now, is that sufficient? If I know that x squared is an even integer, do I know whether x is an integer? All right. So x squared is an even integer. So that means that x squared could be 0 or 2 or 4, these are called even integers, integers that are multiples of 2. So that means that x could be 0, which is an integer, or the square root of 2, which is not. There are lots of possibilities for x, but we can already see that x may or may not be an integer. So number 2 is not sufficient. So number 1 was not sufficient. Number two is not sufficient. All right, but we still can't answer the question because we don't know whether if we combine the information from number one with the information from number two, whether we can answer the question. So I'd like you to do that now. Consider the information in number one together with the information from number two. If we can take both of these statements to be true, can we answer the question? Okay, so let's look, first of all, remember what number one told us more. It was more informative. X is equal to either negative four-thirds or X were minus two. Now, X squared has to be an even integer. And if X is equal to negative four-thirds, x squared would be 16 ninths, which is not an even integer. If x is minus 2, x squared is equal to 4, which is an even integer. So it must be that x is minus 2. And now that I know that x must be minus 2, I can certainly answer the question. All right, I found the value of x, and this was kind of an accident. I don't need necessarily to find the value of x but I know that both statements taken together are sufficient. But neither statement alone is sufficient. So we have the perfect choice to describe the situation.